Hi teachers, I want to show you how you can take a digital math word wall that has been built in Google Slides, download it as a PowerPoint, share it in OneDrive, and then add it to your Teams website. Right now I'm in my Google Slides on Google Drive, and I'm going to do File, Download, and I want to download it as PowerPoint. Now that that's on my desktop, I'm going to go over to OneDrive and I'm gonna upload my PowerPoint. So here it is. Now that it's in my OneDrive, I wanna get a link that I can share with students. I can put it in Teams or I can just share the link. I'm gonna click on this little circle and I'm gonna choose Share. And in the Share, let me move myself out of the way, in the Share settings, you wanna click on anyone with this link and edit. And we wanna unclick Allow Editing and Apply. Now we'll copy the link and I'll go over to Teams. Okay, so here we are over in Teams and I'm gonna just down here, I'm going to start a new conversation. Here is your digital math word wall and share the link and enter. Now let me show you what it looks like when students click on it. So I'm just gonna right click and open an incognito window so you can see that this is what the students will see. Okay, so what's cool about this is that they can click on these different images, but they can't edit. So you can see here that this says type here. You can uh, remove that if you want, um, or you can go over to your PowerPoint in OneDrive and edit there, and it will edit over here in the student's version. Let me show you what I mean by that. So I'm gonna minimize the screen, go back over to OneDrive, and I'm just gonna edit my PowerPoint. Okay, so here I am, and I will go into the sphere. And instead of type here, I'll say, this is a test of how a present mode will look to students. Okay, so now that that is there, it might take a second to autosave. Let me go back over to the incognito window. And if I click on the sphere, it still says type here. If I refresh, and we click on the sphere. Now they'll see here, this is a test of how present mode will look to students. So you can edit on your side, so you can deliver information to students' notes, you can deliver um, videos, more images, you can add additional images here in PowerPoint, you can even hyperlink them, but the students themselves can't edit the, the PowerPoint once they get it in the, uh, the link that you shared with them. I hope this has been helpful uh, for taking a Google Slides document in OneDrive and then also into your Teams.